Looks like we're gonna get red, uh, ready for the team lineup. Here is Zephyr. You got Blitz, Sexy Bamboo, Aosin, Corey, and Merlini, the newest member. Who finally got his picture. He got his picture there. He's pointing at the screen on the left. Looking good. And uh, this team was season one winners. Yeah. Uh, in season two, they kind of dropped off a fair amount. Ended up kind of tying for last place, third and fourth. Had to play in those uh, up and down matches, but securing their tier one position again. Well, they've been like at the highest and they've been at the lowest. So they've they've experienced both. So I mean, I, I guess lowest would be going to tier yeah, I mean, two, but yeah. they ha they haven't gone that far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, lowest <laughs> in tier one at least. Like, in, in and here we go with a little bit of an animation. We got Corey as his favorite Marana. Storm Spirit for Blitz, no surprise. Nature's Prophet on Sexy Bambo. We got Aosin with the Sand King and Skyrath Mage for Malini. We saw him play two Skyrath Mage games before, so I'm guessing yeah. that's what they're going off. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> no, he's, no, he's played the uh, Vengeful Spirit too. He played one Vengeful Spirit, but two yeah, Skyrath. Yeah, Skyrath. So that's that's his favorite hero officially in the KDL. Yeah, yeah. I know he loves it. Uh, so I watch his stream sometimes. Uh, yeah, he, lo he loves to play Skyrath. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And here is Team MVP Phoenix. We have March, Forev, Ryzen, Keen, and QO. How do you how do you think we pronounce Ryzen? Because I've listened to some streams and they they pronounce I say Ryzen. Ryzen. Yeah. I like Ryzen for some reason, but yeah, but it's not how it's supposed to be pronounced. No. Raisin. 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 All right, we'll do Raisin. <laughs> Ryzen reminds me of like Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> That's why I say it. But no, you're right. Raisin it is, and I mean, look at their attack, defense, tactic, strategy, and teamwork. It's all so high above the nines. Uh, we don't really know how they get those scores, but they have them, and they they are the best team in this uh, in this league. Yeah. And we have March on the Warlock as his favorite signature hero. Slark for QO. Brewmaster for Forev. Shadow Shaman for Heen. And Rubik for Raisin. Okay, I was, I said, I was waiting for it. I yeah. said it. I had to think about it for one <laughs> second. Don't worry, I'll never make that mistake again. I prefer Ryzen, though. I actually might ask him if he will change his name for me. <laughs> Just for you. You have your come on. Yeah, come on, man. We're, we're pretty tight, actually. <laughs> Every time he sees me, he's got to come over and have a hug and say yeah. what's up. He's, he's a funny kid, man. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be an interesting match for sure. And I, I'm really, I really hope Zephyr has found their momentum with their last win against Pokerface. Pokerface. Probably the second best team we have in Tier 1. Obviously got top yeah. 2 uh, last season. So they're very strong. Definitely the second best Korean team here in Korea. Yeah, they had a pretty weak showing the last time. Uh, poker phase, that is. Yeah, I mean, they uh, dropped to Rave as well, I believe. Yeah, yeah. they lost yeah. Both, both matches. and uh, I mean, they, they seem weaker than usual. I don't know. Maybe they had a bad day. It always happens. So. Yeah, I mean, everyone has their bad days for sure. And it was unfortunate. It was on a day where they had to play two teams. So yeah. we'll have to wait and see if they've regrouped today and if they're going to be playing a lot better. I'm not playing today, though. Poker face. I'm not Sorry, not Poker face. I mean, uh, well, I guess the same sort of thing goes for Rave. Rave have not been having a good showing yeah, so far. Exactly, yeah. They are one and three, tied up with uh, with Zephyr. So both doing yeah. struggling this season. And uh, yeah, Rave is actually kind of interesting because uh, I was looking at some Rave games last night. They actually were playing some online leagues last night, and yeah. um, we had Ninja Boogie going support. Oh really? That was interesting. So who plays? Who was playing carry then? We had Rior playing carry. Yeah. What was he playing? Do you remember? Um, I forget. I forget. Oh, maybe it's a hero thing. I don't know. Maybe might be a hero thing. But I actually saw a couple of games like this with Ninja Boogie playing support, which is very weird for me. Oh, maybe they're trying stuff out. They could oh. be trying stuff out. Maybe they just switch their names around. <laughs> I guess you could do that, right? You kind of switch your uh, name around. And maybe on the Steam? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. maybe, but I thought it would be trolling. Though. Yeah, that'd be interesting. It'd kind of be a cool strategy there. <laughs> Confuse people. Just like change up your names. It's like, I guess, like they look at your replay and it's like Ninja Boogie hasn't been playing, uh, doesn't play carry anymore, it seems. He's been playing all these support heroes. So. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what, what's up with this. It's an interesting, but we'll, I guess we'll have to wait and see when yeah. the picks and bands come along. Yeah. We'll know for sure, absolutely. Still waiting for everyone to join up for the game before it begins, but uh, yeah, Zephyr is ready. Zephyr, yeah. MVP, not, not quite yet. Still getting, still getting ready, it seems. 
But uh, what's your prediction for this match? Who do you think is going to take this? Uh, I have to say MVP. Even though Zephyr is uh, starting to get their, their, uh, like their momentum back, they still had much less time than MVP. MVP have been playing together and practicing together for such a long time. Yeah. They have so much experience together. I, think, I don't think uh, Zephyr is quite ready yet to challenge them. Yeah, I mean, bringing in a new member like that is always going to shake things up, and it's going to take some time for everyone to get ready. So, yeah, that is a very good point. They're going to do better than last time, that's for sure, but uh, I think MVP is still going to win. Yeah, MVP just seemed too strong. And uh, I agree. I, I definitely think MVP are going to take this match, but hopefully it's a really good match, and hopefully Zephyr can create another upset for today, seeing yeah, we already saw, saw one in our Tier 2. Yeah, pretty big one. Like pretty big one. Probably, like, one of the biggest ones we'll see in Tier 2, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, unless uh, Geras also beats Hot Six. Now that, okay, that would be <laughs> the Actually, upset. they already played each other, right? Didn't they? Mm. Yeah, I think they did. Uh, actually, I'm, I, don't, I don't even know. I can't remember. I'm yeah, going to have to go back and have a look at the match history. But the game has loaded up, so we'll be jumping into the picks and bands very, very shortly here. Very, very excited to see how things are going to end up and what kind of strategies Zephyr has planned for Team MVP Phoenix. And Viper for his band. Viper for his band. Don't spoil things. We haven't gone into it just yet, Karn. Oh. <laughs> but here we go, guys. So we are going to get a shot of both teams before we jump in. Zephyr. There's Merlini. There's Sexy Bamboo. There's Blitz. And Aosin. Here we go with MVP Phoenix. They're all looking very, very focused. There's Raisin. Yes, I got that. <laughs> Don't you worry. Here we go. And Viper first ban, I called it. Yeah, you predicted that so well, Khan. Yeah. Very nicely done. I followed up by a Doom ban, actually. And yeah. Zephyr, straight off the bat, getting rid of Brewmaster. We yeah. have seen uh, MVP yeah. Phoenix do very well with they the uh, always, Brewmaster. It is always, almost always the same first bans against MVP Phoenix. They ban Brewmaster, they ban Warlock. Yeah, uh, no surprise to get rid of the Warlock. Every single game we've seen Warlock, it's it's been, uh, uh, it's just gone MVP's way. They're just so yeah. good with this hero. Just such an amazing carry hero, they play it that way. But we did see them pick up Razor, which is also a very, very strong hero. Yeah. Well, this this uh, Warlock first ban like, kind of reminds me of... Uh, when I was playing with Monkey Spanner, people would always first ban things. I remember that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I, I think that was, yeah, that was around season two. It's still happening. Yeah, season, season one. Season yeah, one. Season one. Uh, TDL season one and started. Ah, uh, uh, yes. I, I definitely it. remember seeing a game, like, I, I know I was observing one for sure, and, like, mm. they banned out Clinks, and I'm like, ha, huh, that's Karn. <laughs> that's Karn right there. Uh, like, that's why it's really good to have, like, uh, I think that's one of the reasons also MVP Links is doing so well. They have this pick that nobody else really plays, and that's that needs to get banned because they use it so well. Yeah. And it like, already gives you a huge advantage when you go into the draft. Like You have to waste the ban on a hero that's not even considered that uh, strong or like, first pick, first ban worthy. So. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Like They, they created like this, this meta here in KDL where like they're forcing people to ban out this hero that no one wants to ban out, and it's giving MVP Phoenix like another hero to, in the yeah. map. Because they can play the standard strategies too. They can yeah. play all the standard strong heroes and... So if they have like one in their pocket like this that you have to ban, yeah. just because it's MVP Phoenix, they're they're happy. Like they see this ban, they probably have to be like yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. We have so much, uh, so much, uh, so many other heroes like open to, to us. We can control the draft so much easier like this. Yeah, and we have a faces void picked up for Zephyr as well as the Skyrath. Most likely going to be Melini. Well, he's not. Playing, I don't think he's going to be playing any hero, any other hero anytime soon. Like, <laughs> he's he's on the rate he's going. He's on Skyrath duty, man. He's yeah. <laughs> and I mean. Obviously, a great combination when you got Chronosphere as well as Mystic Flare online. It's yeah. essentially a guaranteed kill. Skyrath very good against uh, Razor because you, uh, Razor, you really want to kill him as soon as possible. So any kind of burst damage is very good against him. So you take him down before he uh, has time to drain damage and uh, reduce armor with his ultimates and whatnot. Yeah, drain damage and shut down Eye of the Storm as fast as possible. And Rubik. There's Ryzen, most likely. So Raisin, I, I got it wrong again, but he didn't kill me out. Raisin on the, loves his Rubik, very, very strong Rubik player. So like they already have, uh, like they can kill pretty much, Zephyr can pretty much pick up whoever they want, whatever they want uh, with this combo. Uh, the thing is like they don't really want to do this in team fights, like they need to like 
right now they have Razor already, so they're probably gonna try to. Uh, he's gonna probably gonna be the focus. Oh, no, the Chromosphere is gonna he's gonna get he's gonna get caught. Yeah. Skywrath Ulti is gonna go on him for sure. Uh, We'd we'll have to see though uh, what are the next picks. They're banning the Prophet. Very, very strong with the uh, Void 2. Their Chronosphere and the Spirit just can go. Yeah, they just go crazy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I and mean, we did see Shadow Shaman banned out for Zephyr as well. Yes. These days, the, the, like the last few games we've, seen, we've seen, they, they tend to let the Shadow Shaman uh, get out of the yeah. first pick phase. Yeah, wait. Maybe they've realized finally, like. Oh, yeah, he's definitely been getting out the first big plays, especially if it's against MVP, because they have to get rid of that at Warlock yeah. more than anything else. There's March, usually the Warlock player. Maybe today, going to be on that Razor. Yeah, again, he played last time. And, um, well, what could they ban again? What else could they ban here at this point? I mean, we'd... Uh, Bambo played the Brewmaster last time. So they're getting rid of that this game. I mean, they could get rid of, like... Oh, they get rid of the Bat Rider, which is also a Bamboo hero usually. Yep. Always that off lane. So, no surprise there. We also saw Blitz on the Timbersaw in the last game. Yeah, mid. That was mid. So, so that they might they might use the same thing they did against uh, um, Poker Face. Poker Face, where they had this uh, hero that can try to get as much farm as he can mid. And uh, uh, just a hero that's comfortable for Blitz. He yeah. can do well uh, later on in the game. Like, one of his uh, better heroes, I guess. Yeah. So, maybe it'll be Timber again, I don't know. But uh, with Void, uh, Timber plus Void is pretty bad, I think. Timber, oh, yeah. Like, it doesn't have much synergy. Timber cannot get, uh, get in as much damage as he wants. Yeah, yeah that's so. very true. But we see Zephyr pick up a Tidehunter. Yeah, so that's Corey Void, which uh, I was expecting. He's their Void player, usually. Yeah. I like this a lot. I, I love seeing the Tidehunter. Such a great offlaner. Definitely one of the most popular offlaners these days. And a Witch Doctor. I kind of like this, especially considering what we, I mean, against Chronosphere. That also helps out a lot, don't you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, your Chronosphere, if you're not caught in it, you just throw the Death Ward. And throw the like Death Ward in the middle, and I mean, and Faces is going to get out. Yeah, he yeah. has to get out. He cannot stay. But this is really, really annoying to play against. You get cast and then uh, uh, Death Ward. You can't really stay in. I think uh, this is a really good pick, actually. The only yeah. problem being tied onto it can... Stop, stop that forward like yeah. easily. Yeah, absolutely. Ravage shut that down completely. So yeah, I guess he's got to be very careful when he's going to be uh, using it. Yeah. But I mean, we have another sort of ulti there that uh, Rubik's going to be able to steal and quite possibly turn the fight around with. Yeah, it's it's harder to turn the fight with a Chronosphere though because uh, since Void can, even a, in a Rubik's Chronosphere, he can still walk inside yeah, and that, hit people. So That's true. It's, uh, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, Rubik is not the best here against Void. Uh, I feel. Yeah. I, I guess Witch Doctor would be doing a lot better, considering. Mm. But uh, at least, like, there's a lot of spells to steal from Sky Wrath and Titan Tour, too, obviously. Yeah. If you can get Ravage. If you can get Ravage. Oh, yeah. man. You're doing well. I see I TA banned out for Zephyr as well. That's a strange ban, though. They, they have no reason to ban TA. Yeah. Like, there, I have a razor. Wow. Well, oh, no, that's. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind? Yeah, never mind. That's all right, we're all good? Yeah, yeah, we're all good. All right. We see Disruptor also picked up for Zephyr. So, uh, I, I actually like this pickup as well. And the Red King. I think it's a Red King support. That's what they like to run. Red King support, but we already have a Rubik and a Witch Doctor, do you reckon? No, never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm out of it. It's all good. Yeah. Don't worry, man. Yeah, I mean... It's going to yeah. be most likely a Wraith King uh, safe laner then at yeah, this yeah, point. Man, yeah, it's going to be a much Wraith King, I guess. And uh, mid-Razor, mid obviously. Mid-Razor. Uh, do you think it's going to be like, maybe a defensive try lane with this kind of combination? They could go, they could go aggressive with the MVP things that is. I think they're going to go aggressive, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will. Well, at least I hope they will. Because they're against the Void and... Uh, which Doctor is very, very good in Trident versus Trident situations because of the cast, they can keep bouncing. Yeah. You have the heal, you can have them. It uh, depends how they're going to want to skill it, but I think they just get like one level of Maledic mm. and the rest goes to the heal. So we'll have to see how they decide to play it. Yeah, definitely. So Disruptor can do a bit of work as well, though. Skyrat, Disruptor, Faceless against maybe yeah, Wraith King, Witch Doctor, Rubik. If things were meant to turn out the way they are. Still waiting for those, uh, the offlane for Phoenix and a mid hero for Zephyr at this point. 
Most likely, yeah. The, it seems like uh, MVP is expecting a mid Tidehunter or something. Yeah, it's banning out that Nature's Prophet. Definitely a bit unusual. Yeah, well, maybe they're expecting a mid Prophet. I don't know. Hmm. And we did see Centaur ban out for Zephyr as well. So, yeah, getting rid of one of those top tier uh, offlaners. Oh, a Husker. Husker! What is going on? Okay. <laughs> Curry's <is that? laughs> like, Curry's like, really? I gotta play this? Curry's like, what are, you, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing, Bambo? Wow. So this kind of changes up things. Do you think we'll see Husker mid? Uh, no, there's no... No way? I mean... Uh, I guess he'd be up against like a Razor. That'd be probably pretty ugly. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's... I actually do not know. It's going to uh, be one of those weird sort of games where we're going to have to wait and see where everyone's going to yeah, rotate like, to. Yeah, it could be like... Dev. Three melee. I mean, not, Husker, Husker is not a melee, but it has very short range. Yeah. So it's not the best, and I mean, I'm trying to think like the reasoning behind it. Well, maybe like you just want to burst down the razor, like okay, like yeah, razor, you can remove like half HP just with the razor. And you know. Omni Knight for Phoenix. Okay. Yeah, Omni Knight. Offlane Omni Knight. Wow. Oh no, most likely. Okay, then it's most likely gonna be solo. Say Omni Knight. Aggressive so. Trident. I think it's. Okay, well we're going to have to wait and see how things are going to turn out because yeah, this, this is, is going to be one interesting game. Getting ready to jump into the game now. Here's a quick look at Zephyr. Eosin looking focused. Here's MVP Phoenix. They're a very unique lineup with the uh, Omni Knight. See how this one turns out. I think the Omni Knights here could be very good. I think they picked it because uh, the Blitz Husker. Yeah, so I guess mid. I guess mid we're Husker. seeing a mid Husker. I mean, like, there's not many other places they could put him in. So. And I mean, I guess, I like, guess, like, against the Razor, if Razor was stealing his damage, he's always got, like, Burning Spear to yes. kind of stack damage on him. Yes, so he still does okay. He's still gonna do damage. He's still can gonna, trade pretty well. But I mean, he's not gonna find much farm, though. Yeah, that's very, very true. We see a pause off Blitz, so maybe Blitz having a little bit of trouble here. He's like, hey guys, I got a Husker, what is going on? I, I don't know, where hey, is this uh, They gave me a Husker, guys. Um, can we remake? <laughs> Please? And they're asking the referees right now, and they're like, sorry, sir. You're going to have to play that. You're going to have to play it well. I mean, I'm interested to see how they, what is their plan exactly with this. It's going to be an interesting one for sure. I, I kind of like it a lot there. But I mean, at the same time, I'm really interested to see how this Omni Knight's going to go. It's on Forev. Yeah, and he's bottom, so uh, as I was ex I mean, for now, no, he has boots and he has wards, so I guess yeah, he's gonna actually go off lane. So he's gonna be a safe, uh, say they're gonna go safe lane. They're not gonna aggressive. Ah, so they're gonna be doing the defensive safe lane with the Razor as March, by the looks of things. And it's gonna be up against Sexy Bambo in that off lane. The thing is, like, I don't think I've seen uh, MVP run Razor mid, they always run it as a safe lane carry. Mm. So, um,. <coughs> And Q is playing the Wraith King. But uh, yeah, he's going to go bottom. So Mars is going to go mid for this time. Yeah, very interesting kind of lineup. And I would I would have prepared for them to uh, go aggressive. But uh, I mean, like Skywrath plus Disruptor, they have a lot of damage, uh, especially in the early levels. So it might be difficult, especially with a Rubik. Rubik doesn't bring much uh, uh, when it comes to fighting on a Trident. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, he's got Telekinesis, and he's got Fade Bolt. Yeah, but like Fade Bolt is a very, uh, it's like one of the worst nukes because it costs so much mana for uh, what it does. 150 mana. Yeah. That it's, is... It's very expensive. It's practically half his mana pool, like yeah. straight up. And it does such little damage. I mean, it, d it does reduce damage. Yeah, but it is much better. It looks like they're going to be testing in game just to make sure everything's all good. And they're ready to go and oh, some dancing. <laughs> so it's trying to sort out things. It looks like everything is A OK. -okay and we're going for it. So we'll be back in game any second now. I like the Omni Knight pick because uh, like, right now Zephyr has extremely strong team fight. 
like they have like this kind of wombo combo lineup like chronosphere goes goes down and then ravage uh static storm mystic flare like throw everything in the 30 seconds yeah uh, they have a lot of like aoe damage and silence and stu uh, disabled they definitely have like a great team fight if they can get yeah. to that stage but i mean it's all about getting to that stage against mvp because mvp they clearly have like some of the top mechanics here in KDL, like they've they've always win, like they always get the, the lead early on, and they can really solidify it by taking constant objectives, specifically towers, and they try and push those towers as fast as they can, get that gold lead, and from there, it's just so hard to come back against these guys. They play it so mechanically, more than anyone else. See Raisin, so he's trying to deny this regen rune, takes it instead. But like I was saying, yeah, the Omni Knight, uh, I think he's probably, I expect him to go for uh, fast Aghanims. And uh, it's going to help them uh, a lot. He's going to allow Omni Knight to be stay out of position. Oh, they are going oh. for early. Well, they don't have much. Just harassment. Taking a lot of damage there. He does get a, a good static link off. Does a lot of damage, actually. Yeah. But uh, he's got to be careful. That Burning Spear is doing a lot of work. And Bamboo being stunned up down bottom. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage, actually. Uh, he's doing very well, uh, avoiding oh. the anchor smash. He's going to be enough. Oh, he's going for it. QR going deep here. Oh, but decides to turn around just in time. Doesn't want to Doesn't want to risk it all. Uh, meantime, Prev. Oh, uh, maybe no. He has oh. oh, not playing himself. Denies himself. But wow. Going oh, really deep there. So action straight off the bat here. Zephyr taking that lead early on. Prev laughing about it. He's like, ha ha. <laughs> You thought you had me, but the creeps have me. So the QO on that safe lane. Oh, Bamboo, oh, Bamboo going very deep. I don't know if he can get out this time, actually. Anchor smashes the Rubik, but Raisin doing some blocking here. It does have uh, tele Does he have telekinesis, or has he got like, Vader? Oh, yeah. He's gonna make them run. He's just gonna buy, buy time. He's gonna be okay, guys. Run after me. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, he's, he's gonna look, try and deny himself by the looks of things. Anchor smashing, Honestly, running into the creeps. damage from Rubik. He's gonna be very hard uh, for Rubik. Oh, doesn't get it. Wow. So both off lane is denying themselves to creeps. Yeah, nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting a lot of time, giving QA a lot of space there. Yeah, he was probably like, like hey, space created. Yeah, Adam. space created. Thanks for the uh, free farm and the level three. Not too much, no, no no first blood advantage at the very least. Yeah, I mean, Poe was pretty close to giving it. Um, yeah, he uh, they might. Uh, no, he doesn't have games. Oh man, Thunderstrike as well as Arcane Ball just gonna harass this guy down for days. Yeah, it's very very difficult to uh, stay in this lane. I guess he does have Repel, which is gonna help out a lot. Yeah, actually, Repel is gonna be such a big factor later on, like uh, a. a, a uh, Repel Razor against this lineup. I mean, they still have a Void, so it's still okay, but if Void comes in and Chronosphere's uh, Razor, he can still get... Uh, Omni Knight can still ultimate, right? And yeah, Then they don't do true. anything. It's actually a really really uh, smart thing you say, uh, and it's probably like exactly why they chose it for this situation, considering we already see like... We already see Disruptor, and we see Skyrat Mage, and like a lot of damage there, a lot of magic damage there, so Repel gonna help out. Yeah, and um, but... Whenever there is BKB repel any kind of magic community, then Void comes in with the Chronosphere and yeah. like shuts it down. And then you got Guardian uh, Angel there, so, yeah, so you're yeah. all sweet. They're like uh, raising each other. Yeah, countering each other. Like, and, uh, I mean, it looks like Faces 4 are getting some really nice farming mid as well as Wraith being so. Yeah, mid is like completely even. Yeah, mid doing very well against each other, actually, surprisingly. Thought maybe Razor would have the edge here, but Husker holding his own. Burning Spears. I mean, the thing is, like, uh, well. yeah, like it's still kind of dangerous to like, go up to a Husker and like at the bit, like it takes still some time to uh, for you to uh, uh, absorb all that damage. Yeah, like leash the damage, and in the meantime, he's stacking the Burning Spear. So, so yeah, you gotta be careful. Play too aggressive against him. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a really interesting kind of uh, look at this situation. Damage. Yeah, he, he just simply can't get close enough because. Husk is just going to zone him out every time. Yeah, throwing more spurning spears. It's actually really them. cool. Like, I've never really thought about Husker as a way to deal with the Razor move. It's it's so smart there. I, actually, they've really thought about this. Obviously, going into this uh, this game, realizing how important it is. Yeah. So I'm going to see Raisin 
get that invisibility rune. And he's going to rotate over, maybe try and pick out Bamboo with the telekinesis here. We already see QA going past the tier one. Got to be a little careful. Looks like Raisin might actually uh, try some work on the Blitz here. Yeah, he's invis, so... With two though, like, he cannot be two. Does he have a glimpse? Oh, yeah, he has a glimpse. Oh, yeah, got to be very careful yeah, here. Can <laughs> <laughs> he repels out of it. I love it. What a great pick up there. Omni not already doing work, avoiding death. Yeah, any other flame in there? <laughs> he's, like he's like, yeah, we thought about it too, guys. Yeah, top. That's forever. Get some farming. Mean, he's only on four last hits, though, so not doing that well. Yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't really care. He just wants the levels. All he needs is uh, his soul ring, and he can just spam spells and uh, stay, just stay as uh, safe di at safe distance and support his team like this. Yeah. I mean, as long as he's got that guardian angel up. Yeah, we can still catch up a little bit later. So. Bamboo going very deep once again. He's got to be careful here, though, because Razor's decided to, to yeah, make his stop by March. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, oh, okay, oh, finally got now. Static Link. Is he going to use it or is he just going to go for the kill at this point? Looks like Bamboo going to deny himself again. And he yes. does. Wow. Again, space created and they're going to come for the space counter gank. And it's like nothing. Gank created at this point. And let's say Raisin in a bit of trouble here. But at the same time, Maloney getting focused on. Oh, and oh, finally. March in huge trouble here. Looks like Blizz is going to take that kill. First kill of the uh, first actual kill of the game. Even though we've seen four deaths now. Blitz finally solidifying it. Four death being the first blood. Yeah. How funny is that? <laughs> I can't believe we've seen so many denies this game. Yeah, forever. Get a bit of space up top now that those uh, supports have rotated bottom here. Looks like we actually might be going for QO at this point. Yeah. QO is level, well, he's level six. six though, so. He'll be able to get out. Oh, oh. Yeah, they don't even. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. At least it triggered the ulti. It's pretty yeah. big. That's a huge, huge cooldown. Yeah. Three minutes. See so Static Link from March. He's creating some space here. But he's got to be careful now. Already uh, given some farm to Blitz in the first kill. Yeah. Uh, looks like... Did Void go for a Midas or uh, what did he get? He got Blades of Attack, but he's already got Treads. No, I mean uh, Void. He's uh, going to go... Uh, Huskar is going uh, to go for Armlet, uh, right? Armlet, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Best item on this And it looks like, yeah, we will see uh, Midas on Corey. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of space, so no surprise there. Already at 42 last hits. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, why not? Why not? I mean, I, mean, I don't, uh, personally, I don't like Midas on Corey. You can do so much more uh, if you go for a uh, like Treads, Mask of Madness. Yeah, you go for those sort of early kills. Yeah, like, like sub, sub 10 minutes, you can already start make, making things happen. So. Yeah, because that's definitely one of the problems with uh, Faceless Void. If, if he doesn't have that farm or if he does go for that greedy uh, Midas, like, he just doesn't have the right click to take people down in the Chronosphere. Have yeah, seen but that I guess time he just wants, they probably want to dodge fights and just take it late game because uh, fighting against Omni Knight is, uh, is so annoying. Yeah, that's true. And, yeah, and his build also, his skill build also shows it. Uh, he went like max uh, time walk. Only one level in uh, uh, bash and uh, time lock and uh, yeah backtrack. And uh, yeah, usually you want to max uh, time lock if you want to fight because it does a ton of damage. Yeah, absolutely. During the chronosphere, a lot of bonus damage there. So yeah, it looks like he is banking for the late game, getting a lot of time walk. So uh, eight minute might is though. It's a uh, pretty, it's pretty late yeah. for a uh, free farming void. He got boots first and a uh, pro man shield. So let me know. I would, uh, I would, uh, I would have rather uh, went like straight Midas if you wanted to play passive. Oh yeah, for it. before even boots. Yeah, because I mean, it's not gonna like they didn't really, they can't really kill me knight anyway. Yeah, that's a very good point. So, yeah, I can understand that for sure. And so yeah, it is a bit late, eight minutes. But uh, considering he it still has his boots, he has his boots, so it's still, uh, it's still decent timing. Yeah, he didn't rush it. And I'm sure he'll catch up pretty quick. Now that the Midas is finally online. Yeah. Kind of a low in the action. See a little bit of aggression on the 4 ev. He's gonna be just fine. Treads on the Wraith King as well. No Midas for the Wraith King. Oh, actually, there is a Midas on the Wraith King. Yeah. We missed that. Yeah, I missed nine that. minute Treads would have been really late. <laughs> yeah, that would have been actually nine minute Treads. That's just not right. So he'd most likely go into an omelet next, right? 
Uh, it depends. Yeah, I think he's gonna go blink. Blink is extremely strong on Rift King. For uh, what they need initiation. They don't have uh, any other heroes to initiate, so they need uh, Rift King to do it. Uh, so he's probably gonna go dagger and then they're gonna keep fighting. As soon as uh, reincarnation is up, they're just gonna be okay, let's fight. Right, right. Or at least try to pick up someone. Who's... But like, Zephyr can still fight back. They have like huge team fight, so. Yeah, and we see some, uh, some pushing down bottom, yes. but at the same time, up top, we also see uh, Zephyr going for the counter push on the tier one top, and it, I don't think I don't think MVP are really in a position to take it on because considering that we have like Chronosphere, we have Ravage, they didn't miss the Flare yet, but I mean that's still some great team fight and lockdown. They're gonna be very careful with taking the team fight early on, but the tower itself pushes them back with the help of Forever. And they're actually pushing down on the t uh, tier two bottom. Yeah, they're forced Bamboo back, so they can't get the tier one top. Wow. Radiance top tower is being attacked. I mean, you worry, gotta be careful. Oh, looks like they're actually gonna go for Bamboo. We see some TBs in, but is it? Can they DPS him down fast oh, enough? Crit, oh. oh, the ravage! It comes out, and he doesn't even. He's not gonna have. He's oh gonna no, he's gonna die for real. Fifteen seconds away. Fifteen from. seconds, a little too greedy there, and Blitz takes full advantage of it. Now. Looks like Heen in a bit of trouble as well. He's gonna have to try and deny himself or something. He, but he doesn't. Malini takes the kill with Arcane Bolt. Oh, this is uh, pretty big, right? Yeah, some critical mistakes there, especially getting caught out. At least uh, Wraith King didn't die with his Midas on cooldown. Yeah, uh, at the very it. least, but it's uh, still like 15 seconds before reincarnation yeah. was active again. That's gotta hurt. Like, Huskar is uh, very strong against, uh, like, they don't have that much. Physical damage. Like they have Razor, but like he needs to be there. Yeah, that's true. And obviously, Red King. So I mean, I, I think for now, uh, like early to early mid game, our, uh, Huskar is gonna is gonna do a lot, but uh, he falls off pretty fast. Yeah. Because uh, like late game, like you're gonna have Red King, like uh, Red clicking him. Same for Razor. He's gonna and he has like to sacrifice his HP to do uh, his own damage. So. Yeah, that's true. And so they are gonna go into Blitz now. See Wraithfire go down as well as oh, Static Lincoln. Oh, completely shut down. But there's a turnaround here. Chronosphere from Corey trying to right click down Razor, but this is the problem. He did go for that Midas first. Gets doesn't get the right click down, and it looks like that we have a lot of trouble here. Sexy Bambo also caught out. It looks like Corey will get away, but Sexy Bam Bambo goes down. And they are trying to find Bambo, actually. So actually might get out. Wow, Jukes. Good trade for MVP. Good trade, I mean. A Rubik for a Husker, not bad at all. And they also forced a Chronosphere that didn't do much. Yeah, absolutely. A complete wasted. And this is exactly what you were talking about with the Midas on a. Uh, yeah, the Rudy Fed, uh, Mask of Madness there and mas maxed uh, Time Lock. He would have done so much more. Oh, he definitely would have got at least one kill. And see a TP in again. Oh, this oh is Blitz. Doing some damage, triggers the reincarnation here. March got to be careful here. Also taking a lot of damage from Burning Spears. Uh, but about that again. Oh, we're going to see. Another death here, so wow, a great pickoff. And they're sitting at this tier one. This tier one is all, uh, almost down at this point. And we also even see a great stun from the Witch Doctor. Yeah, that's enough illusions. One thing too is that uh, the Omni Knight heal is uh, pure damage, so the Huskar's resist magical resistance when he gets low HP doesn't even work. Just doesn't even. So they can still nuke him down with low HP. Yeah. Such a great counter pick. And it looks like they are gonna. Pull back from this tower. Not to get a oh, the bash. oh, a huge bash here. It's like Heen in huge trouble. Oh, but a great heal as well. Keeping him alive forever. Actually, I've never seen a Void try to stop someone from TP and failing at doing so. <laughs> Actually, I've never seen it. Uh, they, they, they always proc. Yeah. Time lock is always there. Yeah. It's funny how that works out. Tier one mid remains, yeah, it's so but uh, I feel like you know, MVP kind of taking some decent trades here. Yeah, at least the uh, oh, but hold on a second, Blitz jumps in, Raisin goes down for free here, taking also the Mystic Flare. March also in huge trouble and goes down. So it's an oh, easy double pick up. Oh, they have to go for the tower. They're, they committed so many people. They have to try to get more than this. Yeah, but looks like looks like they might not. Looks like they might actually turn this around here. Maybe worried that that bottom tier too. It's already being pushed up by QA. Almost has his dagger. Yeah. A couple more creep like this, and one more creep, and he has it. Or maybe he just have to be safe. 
catapults gonna happen. He's gonna be careful there. If he dies, he's gonna need a lot more. Pulling back, yeah, yeah. getting that blink dagger. Rich farming it up. Rich farming it up. Oh, we see some trades here. Oh, we got a glimpse. Oh, is Kuro in trouble? He's gonna Wraith fire oh, onto Van Burn. Oh. oh, but we have Heen in the backup. They aren't gonna commit there. He doesn't have reincarnation up, so he, he can't go too crazy. Another Wraith fire on Eosin. We see a TP in as well. Marlini will make things a lot more difficult to try and pick anyone off. He finally has his Mask of Madness. He's finally got that right click that we've been waiting for. To the thing is, like, uh, you see the difference? Like, if a free farming void at this point of the game, you would have Power Treads, the Mask of Madness, and a, uh, the Maelstrom. And at this point, it does a ton of damage. Uh, can, like, chrono and kill two supports in one chrono easily. Uh, so like, I don't know exactly the game plan, so that they probably want to take a big game, so which in this case it's fine to have a Midas and just yeah. not try to fight, like okay I'm not going to fight, I'm just going to wait oh. for him to come to us. It's like Forev in, in, in no man's land here, he's got to be careful, looks like Blitz has spotted him out. Forev going to have to be very careful, puts on Repel. Oh he actually oh. ulti, he's actually using ulti. He used his ulti. Now he's going to recall. Oh, now he's in a bit of trouble here, running into Roshan. <laughs> and I mean, at the same time, we have Q up top getting DPS down from a, a Ravage and Mystic Flare. Yeah, forever goes down. Oh, Forever goes down. Oh, so much damage. So many kills. Ze uh, Zephyr in a huge lead now, 10 to 6. Forever got denied, though. He got killed by Roshan. Yeah, that's something. But they are down for the count. It looks like they will be down pushing the bottom tier 1. Can they actually get this tower down is the next question. They are down a tower at the very least. And yeah, like uh, losing momentum is uh, pretty bad for uh, Enemy Phoenix now because they have a, they're playing against a Midas Void. A Midas Void that's been free farming this whole time. He wasn't part of that fight. No, he didn't, he didn't die. Right? He didn't die the same time. No, oh, he yeah. did not. He didn't die, and uh, he got his Midas. He's gonna go most likely for uh, Maelstrom next. I don't think. I mean, yeah, no, BKB is not a good choice here. I don't think so. I mean, against what they have. Does, does can, seem a bit pointless. Yeah, like you just land a good chrono and it's enough. So. Yeah, just get that right click off. You get a lot of work done. I think for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's been free farming this whole time. Zephyr has found so much space for him. He's been in that top lane for days. Do you see a smoke up for MVP? Led by Raisin. So he's going to be looking for something here at this point. Yeah, they, I think they're pinging. They know the curry is there. They're, they're pinging there. Yeah. Fight's gonna, it's gonna be a fight. Oh. And Corey gonna be the first found here. Gets stunned. Yes, Chronos oh, okay, Picks him that. up. And, oh, beautiful gank there. Follow up. Death Ward onto Blitz. Blitz goes down. Merlini in trouble as well. Goes down again. Double kill for the Rouge Doctor. Double kill on the Death Ward. And they haven't finished yet. They're looking for Aeosin. But Aeosin TPing out. He looks like he will get out. But a very, very nice gank from MVP. Yeah, Definitely really evening things up a little bit more. Yeah, very, very good smoke. Getting that, and now they get some more momentum. I mean, finding finding the, the faces void first, finding Corey is yeah, probably the biggest They knew he was there. there. They, they actually knew he was there. They had the ward in the, in the yeah, they got jungle, a, a so very, they saw him deep. go there. Yeah. yeah. So, great pickoff, and looks like from here, they are going to go for the objective. As per usual with MVP, always finding those objectives when needed. When they have the space, and it is going to be that tier one top. Ninja Boogie was on screen for a second. Ninja Boogie looking closely to see what's going on. Uh, they close. They're going to go. They have Chrono. They just. Uh, uh, MVP just used. Uh, Dial's top tower is yeah, I mean, but Bamboo not going to be part of this fight for a little bit here. And we see the Chrono go down. Goes on to 4F. 4F yes. not taking Who's much damage. Down, so. Oh, oh no. It's a bit of a waste here. Archangel goes down. And here uh, comes stolen chrono. Raisin, Stolen Chrono, getting a lot of them actually. QO, right clicking on Eosin at this point, but not much damage, and the ulti is tr triggered. So, Reincarnation goes down. We see March as well. Oh, and Good there ravage. goes the Ravage. Death Ward as well, though. Death Ward could turn these things around. We see Eosin go down from the Death Ward. This Death Ward doing so much. In oh, fight. yeah, and Bambo also goes down. So, that's four down at this point. And Corey gets out alive. Still farming it up, but that's a tier one as well. So huge team fight for MVP. Completely turning it around. Brazen 
with that stolen chronosphere doing so much work. Pro F2 had this repel on him like when he oh, got jumped. Oh, keeping he him alive? Yeah, he would have died and then <laughs> no Vladin Angel, no heals. That was a huge, huge move there, yeah. Yeah, like they wasted the chrono for basically nothing. Yeah, chrono. Oh! Oh no, never mind. All good. But yeah, they wasted a Mystic Flare and a Chronosphere on Pharef for absolutely nothing. What a huge investment. Yeah, that was what I was talking about last time too, about the Void plus Skyrath combo. If you don't make... If you don't get a like huge uh, value out of the Chronosphere plus Mystic Flare, then... It's just not much, much left. You have it's damage be left. worth it. And it looks like Zephyr running in again here. Yeah, they want to get something in exchange. They want to get something in exchange, but I mean... The tower has gone down already, we see. Marsh's repel doesn't care. Doesn't care. And we, we saw Static Link on Blitz and he just got shut down completely. Bamboo in huge trouble here, just simply getting right clicked down at this point. We saw a blink from QA, but going to turn around, raise fire to finish the job. And another failed team fight for Zephyr. They're just not finding anything at this point. And are they actually going to push up uh, on the high ground from here? I mean, I guess they could pressure it, but I don't think they're going to get much uh, done. Yeah, they, they don't have enough damage. They're simply, uh, I mean, they're simply... Like, yeah. Curry should not even come here. Like, he's not going to be of any use. Yeah. I mean, they still have to defend, so they got to try something, but... Yeah. That's the problem. They don't have... They have a pretty bad lineup to defend pushes. They have nothing to clear the waves. Yeah, they got no wave clear with this lineup. And they do some pretty severe damage to that tier 3. And they have pulling the chrono, back. Though. Okay, they have the chrono. I thought the chrono was not up, so they can fight. They can fight, but it looks like MVP get out just in time. Playing it smart, not overcommitting. Again, this comes down to uh, what I was saying about the Myris on Void thing. That I think it's uh, like the lineup MVP has. They're obviously gonna play aggressive. They're not gonna try to drag out the game too much. So yeah. Try to fight, take the fight to you, and like uh, pick off and then get towers and try to snowball out of it. But if you go Myris on the Void, your contribution, especially against a team that. As an Omni Knight, and if you don't kill, get like a lot of kills with your Chrono, then they're just gonna heal up, uh, Guardian Angel, Repel, and then you just from there the fight's gonna go be completely turned around. Like yeah. Oh, Raisin. 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 Raisin getting glimpsed. Oh, here comes. And we see Corey jump in, just simply right clicks him down. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't get the kill. Raisin's like, oh well. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Yeah. They did waste the Static Storm on that. Yeah. Avoid doing BKB, though, it seems. It does seem that way. Yeah, absolutely. Again, almost there as well. I guess he wants to uh, get it because he already went Midas, so he wants to be extra safe. Yeah, because really, like, really banking on that late game. Yeah, so he wants to just leave. He just wants to get the game to last longer so that his Midas advantage kicks in even more. And uh, then he's gonna have like, uh, if it goes like a little bit longer and they can uh, gain some map control, then his farm's gonna uh, pull ahead. But then again. Uh, Raything too as a Midas, but he doesn't. Uh, it doesn't uh, slow him down as much as uh, it does on Void. Yeah, I mean he's still got sick right click, and I mean he does have that armlet as well, which is doing so much. Like, yeah, like, that's a good seeing. thing with the Wraith King. Like you have an ultimate, so you don't need to go for defensive items. Yeah, you just go for right click. I mean he's already doing like 600 quit uh, crits with this, so yeah, he's he's well on his way. Yeah, I mean, and we haven't seen that much right click out of uh, faces just yet. Corey, farming up mid now. Very, very close to that uh, BKB. And looks like they are going to go for that tier 2 bottom. And it is already half health. So potential to kill it. We see a rotation now. We have Bamboo and Aeosin in position. And it looks like they're going to be trading for the tier 1 middle. Down goes the tier 2 bottom. And looks like they're going to back off. So really getting nothing done. Doing a bit of damage on that tier one, but uh, still gonna play it safe. Oh, they lose the tier two, uh, but looks like we see a static storm. Panic oh. field on the march here, shuts it down though. Qward, Bamo in huge trouble, has to drop the ravage, and from here, I mean, it's simply right clicking him down with a rage fire. But and the Corey, comes. oh, okay. oh, but we have Guardian Angel here. Oh, and it keeps him alive now. Malini's in so much trouble, he gets shut down. And everyone else is going to back up. So that was three for yeah. nothing and Ag a tier two. Agonim's on the Omni Knight. <laughs> Agonim's on the Omni. Yeah, that's why. Otherwise, like he was probably a double kill for uh, Zephyr if uh, 
the Aganims was not up on Omni. He, yeah. was, he was not in position to uh, save them. Yeah, absolutely. That global doing so much work. And there's another tier 2 mid going down to MVP back in their full stride here. They know exactly what they've got to take down. And I mean, there's only the tier 3s left. Every single tier 1 and 2 is gone at this point. Yeah, they're going to get a rush and then go high ground. And I mean, Zephyr has only killed one tower. And that was the, uh, the tier 1 top. So in a horrible position here. Raisin stealing time walk. <laughs> Why not? And that's another Roshan. Free Roshan. Yeah, first of the game. First of the game. And Razor's gonna pick that one up. Razor uh, almost. Or maybe he has it already. He's Agonims. He should be pretty close to it. He's very, very close. Actually. Oh, yeah, he's gonna have it. Like, he's uh, gonna have it after two more creeps, yeah. yeah. So that's gonna definitely help out with the pushing uh, uphill. Oh, uh, and uh, Red Team doing for that very strong uh, uh, Mjolnir build. It is so annoying to play against because Mjolnir does a ton of damage. Like yep. you don't, you, you normally don't want to focus him, but like when we blink, you can initiate, and they have to take, yeah, they have to take care of you because you do so much damage. Yeah. And then on top of that, you have a Mjolnir, so the, you're gonna do even more damage to them if they focus you. It's just so much. And then you come back to life afterwards. Like there is like I think it was Eternal Envy who started doing this. Uh, Blade Mill, Mjolnir build. Oh yeah. And then with Blink, they just jump in with a uh, Blade Mill, Mjolnir. People hit you. Oh, they just explode. Yeah. Like. They, <laughs> they can't. They can't really focus you, but they have to because otherwise you kill them. I mean, Zephyr is just such a horrible position now. I mean, especially when you got Forever with the Agonims on the Omni Knight already. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be so hard. Their team fight is so strong, and I mean, they they have to take the like, deal with like a razor with uh, with Aegis, and they got to deal with uh, oh an Aegis and Aghanims, as well as a Wraith King that's doing some severe right click now. They have so much so much to kill, but it's gonna be so hard to drop any of them. Yeah, they have to kill Wraith King twice with an Omni Knight supporting him. Wraith King twice, Razor twice, yeah. and I mean, this is after Omni's like used all his spells, so it's going to be such a hard fight. <laughs> Double damage on the Wraith King as well. Oh, I think they're going to try to go maybe... So like they, they're yeah, they have the creeps bamboo. about him. I mean, if they can trigger Ravage in a bad team fight scenario, like right here, he might actually be forced to use it already. Taking so much damage, he's got to use it now. Oh, but the Chrono comes Oh, in. but the Chrono in the perfect timing here. No Guardian Angel, but can they get QO down? No, they can. No, he can't stay. He's gonna die if he stays. He's gonna die, and we do see oh Raisin stealing that Chronosphere once oh again. Oh my god, what a Chrono! Oh, team. and Blitz is in huge trouble here, and he's gonna go down for nothing. They do trigger the reincarnation from QA, but no problem at all. And they're in prime position to take down this tier three, especially with an Aghanim's Razor. Well, it's gonna be okay. Blitz buys back. They still have. Uh, they still have Ravage. Angel. Yeah. They still have Ravage. They don't have Chrono. See, Life Break jump onto Forever. And there's the Ravage. And they're going on to Heen it by the looks of things. They're not getting anything done. We see oh, a stolen Ravage. Ravage. Raisin with another perfect steal. And Bambo's in huge trouble as well as Blitz. Beautiful Death Ward behind the uh, the barracks, securing that kill. And from here, I mean, it's two more down. MVP ravaging this base. Even blinking into the tier fours and securing the kill on Raze, uh, Aeosin. And there goes the GG. Zephyr dropping their first game of the day. Uh, well, I think it really came down to. Uh, I mean, Huskar is. Uh, there's a reason he's not being played. <laughs> the, it was still. Uh, the idea was very interesting. and uh, It was a really very fun. unique idea for this. Like, uh, deal with Razor Meat. But uh, like yeah. the thing is, like, with Void, it doesn't synergize too well because he has to go in. It's like, well, he cannot even get a too good of a chrono. Like, if uh, Huskar goes in that and uh, he has a short range, so he cannot. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for him to have a good position to do uh, as much damage as he wants. Yeah, absolutely. And also, like, against heroes like Wraith King, who can, like, just man fight him, don't care. Uh, it's pretty difficult for uh, yeah. Huskar. Yeah, they just, they simply can't get to this Chronosphere Mystic Flare sort of combo to work. Yeah. Yeah.